Hello, everybody, and we are going to be going over the open enrollment and campus to campus transfer forms. We're specifically going to look at the open enrollment transfer form, but the campus to campus is very similar. The first thing I want to point out is how to identify on if you are on the test form or the actual form for the school year. So the test form will not have a school year up here. Whereas if it is the official form we're using for that school year, it will have the school year either on the left or the right up here. So the first thing you'll end up having is the guidelines. And there's actually nothing to fill out here. It's just making sure you know what you have to include. And so now we continue on to the process. So this is where you actually start filling in the application itself. So I'll go ahead and fill things in. And put in the birth, put in some information. So that's the first section of the form, and this is just filling out the student's information. The next section of the form will have you fill out the father or first guardian information. And then if you do not have information to put in, you can put in A or um, in slash A. If they try to put incomplete information, most of the fields will tell them how they need to put it in. And this is all the mother information or second guardian. And they put in what year they want to have the request done for. Now, the difference between, in this section, between the open enrollment and campus to campus transfer is the first thing you'll be asked is what campus would they have been in if they weren't trying to do a campus to campus transfer. And all of these questions are not in the campus to campus transfer. I'm just filling this information out. Here's where they pick what, if any, special needs they have or special services. This is the same on both forms. I'm going to go ahead and just click none. And then you give the reason. And this section is unique to the open enrollment. So you add files here. Right, so we'll go ahead and add our last file. And then we put in our initials for the signature. And that's all there is to filling out the form. In the next video, we'll cover what you do at the email and the response to that form.